are changing. We're flying high, creating a complaint free world. No more, no more complaining people. Their lives are changing. We're flying high, creating a complaint free world. No more. Here we go. This I love using other people's quotes. It says your apple a day on the back. And today's quote is by Buckminster Fuller. Uh, before I do that, Buckminster Fuller, I don't know an enormous amount about Buckminster Fuller. I do know that he was an architect and it created the geodesic dome, which if you wonder what a geodesic dome is, think of the big ball at Epcot Center. That is a geodesic dome. And it's supposed to be structurally one of the most structurally sound things on earth. It is a ball made up of triangles. So when you assume, when you assimilate all these triangles, the, most, the steadiest thing on the planet is something on three legs. You combine all these into a ball, you get a geodesic dome. Let's go to the quote though. His quote is, we were deliberately designed to learn only by trial and error you uncover what is when you get rid of what isn't. Let me read that again. We were deliberately designed to learn only by trial and error. You uncover what is when you get rid of what isn't. So many different ways to approach this, and I want to cover them all. The main, the main thing I want to say is that this is something that I've talked about a lot, and it's something I realized in my 30s. I was trying to figure out who and what I was, uh, going through a divorce, uh, lost, I uh, lost my job. Uh, yeah, it was a challenging time, and I sat down, and I was trying to figure out where I wanted to go and what I wanted to be in my life. And... I had no idea. So what I did was I took, well, I took five weeks and camped up the coast, the East Coast, from Wilmington, North Carolina, all the way to Halifax, Nova Scotia. And I made a list of everything I didn't like, everything I didn't want to do, everything I had done in the past, all the jobs I had had, what I did not like, and what I would want to do. And I came up with a list of things. And then ultimately, of course, I made a, a career path. But I, I approached it not from, oh, this is my dream. I, I think that one of the better things we could ask kids when, <laughs> when we meet them is, what don't you want to be when you grow up? Because I think as kids, we probably were just like adults. And we're like, well, I know I don't want to do that. I'm not 100% sure what I do want to do, and I don't want to have to commit to it. Before, you know, I, I just learned to go to the restroom by myself and we're asking kids, what do you want to be when you grow up? So it, it's, it's almost more telling to say, what don't you want to be? So when we approach things from, you know what, I don't want to be this, then we start to hone in on what we do want. Humans have what's called a negativity bias. We are by nature negative. So it's easy for us to look at things and go, I don't want to do that, and I don't want to do that, and I don't want to do that. And what we discover, once we even discover what it is we do want to do, there are aspects of it <laughs> that we're always like, huh. Eh. And yet it's a trade-off, though, because it doesn't bear with us all the other negative things. If we remind ourselves all the things that we did not like to do. <sighs> It's so funny to me. I, I, I really think that Miroslav, my producer, and I are on a, a vibe together because I don't tell him how to create these little thumbnails. He just does them. And it is so funny that he put an empty wastebasket with dozens of sheets of paper around it. You want to know why? Here's why. I cannot throw something into a trash can. I miss. Now, that was true up until probably six months or a year ago. But that was one of those things I told myself was true. And so it's so funny that he would pick this. 
because what I discovered was I would throw something and it would hit the lip of the trash can. And then I would go and pick it up and I would throw it from an even closer distance and it would still hit the lip of the trash can and not, not go in, not go in, not go in. And I did this and I lived with this like a frustration, like I was uh, genetically predisposed <laughs> not to be able to hit the trash can. And then I began to think about this and I thought, this doesn't make any sense. I can do this. And I realized that I, rather than focusing on the center of the trash can, I was focusing on the lip of the trash can. I was doing actually very well. My, my focus and my toss was just for some reason at the wrong thing. And once I began to aim for the back, <laughs> everything was great. And you know how I learned that? Trial and error. Trial and error. The other thing that uh, hit me about this quote, and let me read it to you once again. We are deliberately designed to learn only by trial and error. You uncover what is when you get rid of what isn't. Well, I'm, I don't know how to say this other than to say this. A lot of people are not learning. A lot of people are not learning by trial and error. A lot of people are doing things and they are getting bad results in their life. And rather than choosing to do something different, they're complaining about their circumstance, their situation. They're complaining about their life and they're staying stuck where they are. Not to say that's you. I know it's certainly been me in the past. Certainly something for us to consider. Are we staying stuck by refusing to learn and to realize, you know what, that's not really, really good for me? I, or this is good for me. I was thinking, I go, th I take I don't know, eight to ten supplement pills a day. All you know, stuff for my knees and for my uh, uh, muscles and you know, stuff like that. And it's all natural stuff. And I'm really usually pretty good about taking them every single day. And then I'll get in a point where I don't. And one of the things that I take is magnesium for my leg because, because I'll get leg cramps sometimes at night. If take the magnesium. No problem. Don't, doesn't happen. And I didn't fully understand that until I began having leg cramps. And I was like, woo, leg cramps <laughs> at night and having to get out of bed and work them out, you know. And then I realized I haven't had my magnesium in several days. And there is that ego part of us that wants to control and have us not do that which is best for us. So even when we know, sometimes we slip and we want to continue to learn and to say, wait, oop, I get it now. So really what I understand is it's a, it's a quid pro quo. Take the magnesium, no leg cramps. Don't take them, leg cramps. That's what I learned through trial and error. Ask yourself, what is it that you're trying to, to learn? What is it that you really would like to see yourself transform through? And begin to be willing to try and to fail. So I'm going to get into the traditional sense of this for the last couple of minutes here. And that is that most people, I saw a quote one time, I can't think who it was. Um, it might have been... Um, Ah, never mind. It doesn't matter. But the quote is, um, if at first you don't succeed, quit. There's no sense in being a damn fool about the thing. <laughs> now, that's a joke. And unfortunately, the reason it's funny and the reason we find it funny is that so many people are exactly that way. If at first you don't succeed, quit. There's no sense of being a damn fool about the thing. I recently learned this. Uh, we're doing this marketing thing that having to do with this summit that I'm hosting of some of the world's greatest speakers. And you're going to be hearing more about that in the very near future. And learning this software, <laughs> they said, go ahead and get it launched so you can have it fail. Go ahead and launch it. Everybody's like, once you put your pieces together, throw them out there so that it can fail. And the reason you want to do that is so you can then begin to hone in on what works. Look for the little things that did work in all of the failures, and there's going to be mostly failures, and ask yourself, what if I just focus on that? What if I expanded that? 
So there's a lot to unpack here. The quote is again from Buckminster Fuller. Interesting man. I heard about him uh, through Wayne Dyer, who was served on the World Hunger Project with him. The quote is, we are deliberately designed to learn own. I realize I used to be a radio announcer. And when I don't give emphasis on something, it drives me crazy. I say to instead of to. Take two. <laughs> We are deliberately designed to learn only by trial and error. You uncover what is when you get rid of what isn't. Buck Mr. Fuller. By the way, when you see my mouth doing this, that is what I do when I read my audiobooks, when I narrate my audiobooks. <sighs> it's worked so far. Uh, anyway, this is your opportunity to click share, post any last minute questions or thoughts. The day, today's song of the day. I'm going to type that in the box while you all are clicking share. And I won't know that you shared unless you say you shared. The song of the day is I Love Me by Megan. I'm, I don't promise to ever spell anything correctly. Okay, just so you know, but I'm pretty sure this is right. I looked it up yesterday. Megan Trainer. What is the song of the day? As soon as we say, I say goodbye, enjoy today, and we hear no more, no more complaining, then we all listen to that song and it boosts the consciousness of the planet because we're doing it everywhere at the same time. Come on, indulge me in my little fantasy. It's a lot of fun. David says, let's see, going back, we got a lot of posts here. This is great. Dave says, uh, da, 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 da. today's up. We got that in the bag. Uh, your idea is legs. Thank you very much. We discuss. Grateful for my daughter with, um, grateful for you and this help with my life. Thank you for this, is Mary. Mary, you're awesome, possum. Thanks for being here. My daughter has one year sobriety. Grateful. That is amazing. That is absolutely amazing. Congratulations. The word amazing is over overused. And for someone who is addicted to alcohol to go 365 days without a drink, that's a reason to celebrate. And we celebrate it with you. He was an awesome guy and probably still in some form of another, says David. I think he's talking about Buckminster Filler. Jumpstart keeps me disciplined to healthy challenges. That's great. And good mental tools says, Mary, I'm jumping down because we've got uh, several people who have shared multiple times. I don't want to give people an opportunity to all uh, speak. I have that issue with taking supplements every day. I remember to do them for a few days and then I forget to do them. Uh, I now have a reminder. It's called leg cramps at two o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Trish is so right. Fall down seven, get up eight. And then you focus on what it work. Arising from your failures, David says. Ah, Willow, first one to click share. Thank you so much. What's the song of the day? The song of the day is I Love Me by Megan Trader. If you haven't heard it, oh, and, the, and her uh, person who also sings on the, or raps on it, it is Lunch Money Lewis, and he's great. I Love Me by Megan Trainer. Shared, thank you, Will. Have a beautiful day. You know why I love this day, that song so much too? Is that my mother thought if someone said I love myself was the worst thing a human being could say. It was narcissistic. It was arrogant. It was just terrible. And my mother used to say, that was one thing, well, he sure loves himself. And so what I took in was, oh, well, I want my mother to love me. And so the way to get there is not to love myself. Uh, I think we should do uh, Crazy by Niles Barkley next. Anyway, we're going to go with I Love Me by Megan Trainer. Life throws these hurdles in my path, says Mary Minor, and I am learning to think things over and I find I can get through. Yeah, often the best thing to do is just take a chill pill, you know? do nothing. Hard to do. Yes, Mr. Buck. Mr. Fuller says, Cynthia says, grateful for the internet. Now, if I can stay connected, I get that. Mary says, sure, truth, you are making a difference with this program. Thank you so much for that. We have a hard time with self-love equated with egotism and narcissism. Exactly. And it is not. Tell you what I'm going to do. This will be fun. What's the song of the day? I Love Me by Megan Trainer. We're all going to give it a listen once we get off here. And that is true for the people who listen to me later. Now, I'm going through. I just picked up the apple a day, took the lid off. You'll notice 
and I am reaching in. I'm pulling a quote, and this is going to be tomorrow's quote. I'm feeling guided to grab a green one. They're different colors. So, oh, <laughs> the journey is the reward, Steve Jobs. The journey is the reward, Steve Jobs. We're going to unpack that tomorrow. Yeah, there's a lot to unpack. He actually read his book, The Journey is the Reward. And so we're going to talk about that tomorrow. Look forward to seeing what Mirrorsloff comes up with. Everybody, today is fun day. Enjoy today. Make it a wonderful day. Realize that try things. If you try things, you're going to fail. But if you don't fail, you're not moving forward. You know, it's that idea of the storage battery. We've all heard it many times and, and we've heard it. I don't know which is the true story, but the closest version I've had is that Thomas Edison tried 10,000 times to create a storage battery before he succeeded. So let's all remember it takes trial and error. And if we're not trying and failing, we're not moving forward. Enjoy today and move forward. I'll see you tomorrow. No more, no more complaining people. Their lives are changing. We're flying high, creating a complaint free world. No more, no more complaining people. Their lives are changing. We're flying high, creating a complaint free world. No more.